Hello my friends, my name is Don and welcome to a quick video on the FM Creators YouTube channel. I've got this request um, that was sent directly to me, you can do that via Twitter, Facebook or the FM Creators Discord of course. Uh, or even in the comment section down below. But it was just to sort of go over the situation with how I find players. So I will say before this, I play with attribute masking off. That might, so it might be a bit different for those that play with it on. I'm unsure on that, but I rely quite heavily on my scouts. As you'll see, I always try and have a full recruitment team, particularly scout, chief scout, and data analysts. Loan manager, I'm not quite so sure on yet. I'm a bit hit hit and miss on that and direct their football again that's a choice but certainly your scouts your data analysts keep them as maxed as you can i regularly go and ask my board for more because i want to find more players and have more options the next thing you want to do is go to your responsibilities and scouting and make sure you have control of that you cannot set scouting assignments if you do not have control your chief scout will deal with all that or your director of football, whoever you delegate it to. But realistically, you'll want to have it all. And it says when you scout him, how long do you want to watch him for? A week, I've got it set to I play with attribute masking off. So again, I get all the information from a scout report in a week that those without attribute masking off might take three months to get. So again, base that around what you want. But you can get, you know, a couple of matches for a week, a month, two months, three months, or until full knowledge. I just stick to a week because I'm with actually masking off and I get all the information I need and I constantly get my scout reports updated and I'll explain that next. So next up is the assignments. Now as you can see I am scouting various different things. A lot of this has been recommended to me by my scouts and some of that I've set up myself but to set that up, we've actually got a space currently so that's kind of handy. We just set one up, you click on create on assignment in the top left. And then you search for basically whoever you want. Now I have to find under 23s, I'm required by the board to do that. It is a demand that they have requested in my save. So I'm going to click hot prospects. That automatically sets to under 24. And scouting potential is good. Now again, you can, if you don't want to do that, we can go to any. And now I want to say if I want to find an under 18 player. Again, just click on the age in the conditions 19 and set it to 18. And again, you can select which scout you want to do it. I tend to keep on scouting opponents, it selects the scout automatically. You can set what competitions you want and various stuff from there. And again, even if you want a specific position, so again, my team is weak down the right, so I could look for a right back or a right winger. And again, you can select any position selected or every position selected, you know, various things like that. And that keeps us going. So as you can see, I have basically every one of my scouts fairly busy, which is pretty handy. And they're covering such a breadth of different areas, you know, from the Championship in England to, I think, the next top prospects at England under 23s, actually. We've got the under-18s and the reserves in Scotland. And, you know, if I want to have a look at this lad, he is doing league in Ligue 1 in France. I can click on that. And now I've got a list of everyone he's scouting. I can sort it by recommendation. And I can have a look through all this. And have an assessment of what I am looking for. The next thing that I do. Is every September I do this. As soon as the summer window shuts. I go into. Click contracts that is expired in one year. And as you can see. Well actually it doesn't show very well just now. Because I've set it to all ages. But as you can see I've scouted a lot of this. And if I go and select this to under 23, you'll see that the majority of the players, granted these guys are, because I'm in February just now, so it doesn't show very well, these lads are in MLS and Brazil. But, you know, most of the European lads, I already have a scout report on. So that's kind of handy. During the transfer window, I'll quite often gamble with my loans. Um, if you ever watch my series... I gambled on two loans last season. Both turned out to be fairly good. I actually renewed two, both of them with no scout report. But again, just have a quick look at the transfer list. Uh, I've clicked not listed because I'm a bit silly that way sometimes. But again, we can see here there's a number of players here that I could go and again, just right click and scout in, get a scout report on a player that you want to scout. And again, you can 
you know, basically filter this again. So again, I want a right winger who, in my opinion, I, the way my team plays, again, if I was to have a look and I want a specifically a left-footed right winger, I can go to... Uh, I'm trying to actually remember which one it is. It's general, I think. Preferred foot is kind of what I'm looking for here. Where is it? You're here somewhere. Preferred foot and left. So now I have all the transfer listed left footed right wingers. And from there, so for example, if I click on Tom Ince, I can see that he is an inverted winger. Now, again, if you play with attribute masking off, I may need to scout a bit more, but you can play inside forward naturally. So that would be an option, and I might actually just scout him because he's not going to come at a big cost. Um, although he is over my sort of required age. Again, failing that, you can look at the loan list. Right now, because I'm in February, the loan list won't exist, so I'm not going to show you that, but that's just the exact same thing. And you just put loan st listed status to listed. Oh, we do have a list, actually, so that's kind of handy. And you just click those two buttons for interested in transfer, and you click on loan, and that's where I now no longer have anyone showing up because nobody's interested in coming on loan when I can't loan them in because I'm outside the transfer window. Also had that set to not listed when that should have been any, um, so that you know that kind of works. The ones that aren't listed actually do tend to be a bit better. And again, should that not be finding the player you need, just have a look in general. You know, click things like, and again, this is definitely one that I know works differently. But if you do not have uh, attribute masking on or you've scouted thoroughly, go through all these release clauses. So if I want a release clause. Minimum release clause of say, I want to spend seven and a half million pounds on a player, which is reasonable for my budget. You know, it'd be just about half my budget. And again, click that right winger slot. Again, now we've got a list of all the right wingers who have this release clause. That is very, very helpful. The other thing that I would say is make sure you have the top leagues loaded so as you can see from my setup in the selected nations we have china usa england france germany italy scotland because i'm playing in scotland and spain so i've got the top five leagues as well as china and the mls this gives you a balance between selling which china and the mls are pretty good for as well as the top five leagues but also sign in players and you will get a, a you know a balance with that i also have custom database i have all the internationals and under 21s from europe and south america i think i can't remember my exact setup for that but i'm pretty sure that's about right so you know making sure you have a balance to get your transfer window to work for you is massive i'll go on that into more detail in another video in the future however because I think that is absolutely massive, setting up your game correctly. But on that note, guys, uh, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the FM Creators content uh, going forward for all the creators, be it on Twitch or YouTube. I'm going to plug my own content. That will, a link to that will be down below as well. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time. If you've got any further questions, let me know down below. And if you've got any suggestions or stuff that you want to see on the channel, again, let me know down below. And I'll try and get them in the future.